I'm about to slap us a chain on, chain guide, uh, <laughs> this other peg. I guess these front fenders and stuff. We're gonna go ahead and get the antifreeze. Pretty man. As tight as you get it. Then do it on the top. Or even just on here. Yeah. But this one's all good. Got the chain on and the slider. One of them anyways. Getting this old sprocket protectoro on. Oh, it's got another one over here. So this has got five. It takes five. All right, guys, we're going to be right back. We're going to get set up. Yep, I got her choked. Give her a kick or two. Oh, buddy. All right. no. Ch oh, stop. It's pumping fuel already. Let's... Uh yep. That's coolant. Let's see. You think it's coolant? What else? What condensation? Just from starting the motor up, fuel and shit in there. Kind of like a car when you start it. See what it is. It doesn't. It doesn't smell like antifreeze. Taste it. No, I don't taste it. It's antifreeze. You think that we spilt it somewhere on there, and it's. Yeah, I think so. We're checking out this little cooling issue here, trying to figure out where we sprung a leak from. Then we're going to seal this pipe up a little bit better and fire her back up. I appreciate you watching be sure and get up in there like and subscribe and uh it's gonna be a few weeks before i'm able to ride because i just had surgery but big shout out to david for coming and uh putting in work on this tri-z today because i wouldn't have got it done without him for sure there was a couple setbacks and a lot of other bs so he got a lot done today man i appreciate it david you guys get up in there jump on instagram give us a follow time machine atvs and i'm gonna jump back onto this bw 200 banshee hybrid tomorrow guys try these done if you want to buy it it'll be listed on uh instagram and if it ain't gone by saturday maybe david will rip some donuts on it and you know do a couple pulls or something uh for me and for you for yous